I'm on my way to go to dinner. I'm going by myself. Today's like a self-care day, so. Okay, so I'm at the restaurant. I got some lobster and some potatoes. And of course, some like tequila. This is my first time being at this restaurant. I think it's called Blue Water. I'm not sure. I think it's called, I don't even know. I think it's called Water Girl. But I'm here by myself, which is, usually I'm okay, but I usually come to eat by myself during lunch, and I came during dinner, and there's like a bunch of family. And I'm literally sitting here with all this stuff in my dress. And like, I look good though, but I just don't know how to like keep myself busy. But the food looks really good. Um, by the way, thank you guys for tuning in. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, make sure to subscribe, and if you're not new, welcome back. I totally forgot to do my intro. I just got done with dinner. I literally had like the hotel guy um, do a reel of me, which he was super nice because I was like, I don't know, like I feel good and I hate I hate when I have a good outfit and like my makeup's good and then I can't like get a reel or like pictures in. It just feels like a waste, but they did a good reel of, of me, so I'm like super excited. This is my first time at this hotel, so it's like really pretty and like vintage and like kind of mysterious, but this is like what it looks like. It's like super big and pretty. I had a really nice dinner. I'm really glad I took myself out because <laughs> I like went all out for myself because I'm like, I wasn't I wasn't feeling well so I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna take myself out and have a good day. And I was like having my dinner or whatever. By the time I was done, I was like in a pain and everything, but the, guy, the waiter said that the guys next to me had taken care of my meal pretty much. And I was like, oh, that's super sweet, which was like, I was so happy because I'm like, I really went all out, so. That was a nice little surprise. I was like, that's really sweet. So right now I'm probably just gonna go back to the hotel and just honestly take more pictures. <laughs> and I don't know, just like chit chat with you guys and see where I go from there. But I'm really happy I took myself out. I really had a really good time. Um, at first it was a little awkward, but then I ended up enjoying it. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go back to the room right now. Downstairs to get like a drink or two. Um, I just got back up here just now. So I was in the mood to just. Find, I feel like a a nice little buzz going on. I feel good right now. I feel chill, especially like after doing my live earlier. I did a live like a get ready with me live, and I was just chatting a lot about how I was feeling. I know the intro to this video is like super weird, but I'm at a hotel right now. And I just really wanted to have like a self-care day and really just, I don't know, like just kind of remind myself like you, like you're a fucking queen, like you are that bitch. And like, I've been in a funk lately, <laughs> which I, I know I always say this, but you just go to my last video and, and you'll see, or my last live and you'll know why. Like I just, I just been super hard on myself. I want things now. And I just been super hard on myself, like to the point where I make myself cry, because um, I don't know. I'm just super hard on myself. And today and yesterday, I like did like my affirmations, which I don't ever really do. But I was just telling myself like I'm special and like I'm light, I'm power, I'm love, and I was just telling myself good things. It made me feel better for sure. Um, but I just. I really just need to be kind to myself and enjoy life. I have this target and I push everybody aside and and I just realized I'm like you really don't enjoy life. You know, you need to start enjoying and it's good to have goals but just enjoy it as well. Anyway, so I wanna put this song on and just like I just wanna relax. I know I shouldn't be smoking this, but whatever. <laughs> Let's turn it up. Can you guys come vibe out with me? It's the the hotel people recorded. The hotel people helped me do my reel. This is the video. How it turned out. Yes. 
that's my video. So, if you guys haven't, uh, if you guys don't follow me and you're new, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I mean, not like, comment, look at me. I'm already buzzed. Make sure you go on my Instagram and like the video and comment a red heart. I'm really glad I took myself out. At first, it was like a little weird because. Like I said, when I was at the dinner, I usually, um, whenever whenever I go out, I usually, like, have, I usually, like, go out by myself during, like, the lunch hour. Um, this is my first time going out for dinner, and there was, like, a lot of families and, like, people there, and, and just, there I am, looking like a bad bitch in red. <laughs> Ew. But, but, um. I, I really enjoyed myself and I'm really happy that I did that. Like it made me feel better. And it did kinda it did kinda remind me like, hey, you know, you're just you're just who the fuck you are. Like you better know and <laughs> sometimes I forget that. And so I really enjoyed myself tonight. But anyways, I'm gonna chill for the rest of the night and just like listen to me so I can just have some me time. But I wanted to let you guys know, like the ones that follow me, you guys have been supporting me. The ones that have been super kind, like, I know I don't say it much, I don't think I really say it at all, but I really love and appreciate you guys, and sometimes when I have bad days, like, even just talking to you guys, I know it sounds weird because I don't know you guys, but it makes me feel a lot better, and I don't ever really tell you guys thank you or I love you for that, and I really do mean it, and I appreciate all you guys that support me and root for me, and who continue to watch me on my journey. Just wanted to let you guys know that, but right now I'm just gonna vibe out, listen to some music, and just chill. Um, but I hope you guys have a good night. I'll chit chat with you guys tomorrow. I'm heading out right now. I'm about to go get some breakfast. I was thinking of going to this place called, um, I think it's called like Egg Slut or something like that. I tried it one time in Vegas and it was like really good. So, and it's not that far away, so I was like, I'm just gonna go there real quick, but I really, really like this hotel. I think that anytime that I want to stay in a hotel here in LA, i definitely. This one's definitely it. It's super glamorous and it's such. It's so like my vibe. I feel and there's so many areas where you can take pictures. Like it's just so big and beautiful and like glamorous and like I just love that. It's like it reminds me of like Hollywood, like Hollywood, like old Hollywood, if that makes sense. But yeah, they look crazy. Anyways, I'm gonna head out and go to the restaurant. So this is the place where I ended up at. Egg Slut is like over there somewhere. But I just there was a lot of other places here, so I'm like checking out this place right here. It looks really good. So I ended up getting some tacos. I got two lenguas and two pastores and a piña drink. I'm gonna be so mad at myself later for eating this because I promised I would stop eating meat. But I really love this place. I've never been here before. It's like it's a vibe. get some sushi right now uh, I feel like being at that hotel kind of like helped me like feel like a lot better like I just feel like I reflected a lot of myself but yeah I'm here with Alejandro I'm gonna say hi babe hey. <laughs> um, but I feel like as some of you guys noticed that we weren't like really following <laughs> we weren't really following each other on Instagram and like yes I I'm just the type of person, like you guys know me by now, like whatever I'm going through, like I own it. So yeah, I did block him. I did block him and I was just like upset with him, but you know, we're back. And <laughs> I just feel like we just like, I feel like with any, like any relationship, like, you know, you guys go through things and Relationship, like all couples, you know, they go through things, and like I just feel like I mean, I feel like myself, like I was just you know in my feels about like myself and battling things within myself, and I kind of feel like I was like taking it out 
sometimes in a way towards Alejandro and he's like been super patient and like I think that's why I kind of like felt like I really wanted to isolate myself and spend time with myself so I don't like drag the person I love down in this hole that I'm in you're never dragging me down babe you just gotta communicate I know but like I just felt like we were fighting a lot because like over stupid shit that things that were like when really it was just I was just not happy with like kind of like myself and like the things I was explaining in my life if you guys watched it but so I felt like that's why I wanted to spend time with myself that way I don't really kind of put this person like all hundred through it with me um do and do, doing that really helped me do um, you think it's challenging for you sometimes um like balancing out because you're a creative person right and like like you know how we talk that sometimes we like our alone time yeah do you think it's hard for you to to know when you need alone time and, no. and when like like I need alone time sometimes but that doesn't mean you have to fucking get out of my life but I'm, you, I, I would be like hey you know like like when we're fighting like I know that sometimes I need to take care of my shit no I feel like it's not that I feel like for no. me it was just more like I'm I was dealing with things myself and I didn't know what was going on how to handle it and I know I could feel myself like kind of I didn't want to push this like Alejandro away because of my attitude or things I'm going through so that's why I felt like I just needed to isolate myself and figure out what's really going on and I feel like it really worked for me like I feel like I really got to the root of what was really bothering me and I know that I have to change my attitude quick or if, if I keep this up, I'm gonna end up losing people in my life and I don't want that to happen. So I'm just happy like Alejandro's like super patient. Cause like as some, some of you guys noticed and you guys like asked me like, are you guys over? And like, I didn't want to answer cause I'm like, I'm not gonna like put my relationship out there like that. But I also, I know like I was in a hotel by myself and like eating and all that stuff. And then now it's like the next clip. So it doesn't make sense. Like I know if I was watching, I would be like, why is she by herself? Like why? Like, just why? So, I kind of wanted to just explain, like... Well, I was also out of town, so... Yeah, Andrew was out of town working, so... But, that's pretty much why. So, like, I... We're back. We're fine. Resurrected. Just like in any relationship, like, communication is key. And if you don't communicate well, then eventually you guys, like, start resenting, like, each other. And I felt like we just really needed to communicate a lot better. And, like, we're, like, in our fifth month of dating, so I feel like things are getting real. <laughs> it's getting real. <laughs> but, yeah, so that's why I was kind of, like, I don't know. But, yeah, but we're back now, so, like, I'm talking. <laughs> we're back. <laughs> Why? It's funny. We're back. It sounds funny. Alejandro is, I like, was... not trying to follow me on Instagram now because I blocked him. <laughs> I hate that feeling. And I know it's embarrassing And like I'm like a girl So sometimes when I get mad I don't know if you guys are like this If you girls are like this I'll get emotional And be like I'm blocking your ass And I know it's immature And I, I'll own up to that Like I, It's super immature to do that Knowing I'm still gonna talk to him But I was just in my feels And I was mad awesome. But I love Alejandro And like I don't want to like I just don't want to push him away And like I don't know Like I don't know I think I love you too baby But like I, I was listening to you right now And I, when you're going through something, I know I, it's challenging because sometimes you, when you don't know what the fuck you're going through, it's hard to communicate, right? But like, and I feel like it's frustrating for you because you don't know how to help me. Event, yeah, and that's the thing is that but, I'm but a I can see it stresses you out. You. So like, that's why I isolated myself because I'm like, I don't want to drag him down with me. You know what I mean? You're so not like, dragging me <laughs> down anywhere, but yeah, I think I, I mean I'm glad you feel better. And we had a really good talk, so it was good. Yeah, we talked it out. I definitely don't want to, like, lose him. Stop saying that. <laughs> Shut up. It's because I get in my head, and I'm like, God, I need to get my shit together. I'm a crazy person. Like, you don't need to right, but, just, you know. And then I get hard on myself because I'm like, oh, I created this mess. And then that's what I was talking about earlier in my life. I'm like, I create a mess because I'm, I'm, like, a certain way. And then I, then I get upset because I'm like, oh, I'm pushing this person away. I'm I just think happy. it's a Latin woman thing, though. What? I don't know, my my mom's like that too, like What? It's just it's just like prove to me, prove to me you love me, prove it. Cause I want reassurance. But yeah, anyways, we're gonna go eat some sushi right now. This is my little love bit. Sushi. Little one piece. What kind of sushi is this, babe? It's albacore. Albacore. I don't think I've ever tried that before. It was pretty tasty. And we got some undon because it's like kind of chilly out. 
Wind Dodge is like the best for that. <laughs> Did you try it? Is yeah, it good? It's part of it. It's hot, baby. Be careful. It's hot? Yeah, it's really hot. It looks really good. It looks really good. It's really good. Do you like the broth? Yeah. There? So we're at Perch. This is like a rooftop. It's, like a, it's in downtown. It's like a rooftop little bar. I've been here one time and I really, really liked it. And I wasn't able to vlog, but today I'll be vlogging. So I don't know. I really like it. It's nice little vibes. We got a spicy. Shot real quick, so cheers, guys. I think we're gonna head out in a bit, but I really like the vibe, it's really, really chill. If you guys haven't been here, check out Birch with a P. <laughs> cheers, so pretty. Okay, so we're at this bar. I kind of wanted to have like a nice little um, drink. Me and Alejandro went to church earlier. I wanted to stop at this little bar and um, get like some drinks, like a little Sunday fun day. But I don't, this is what it's called. I don't know how to say it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we got some oysters. Um, I got this drink, it's like tequila and some grapefruit. I haven't tried it yet. It's pretty good. Can I taste yours, man? This is how Alejandro looks. You got mezcal? This is mezcal? Ugh. I hate mezcal. It has like a smoky taste. I like the vibe of it. Like the aesthetic of it is like super cute. It's kind of hidden. It feels like it's kind of hidden, so I really like that. I know like some people like slurp the oyster, but I'm like I can't not, I can never do that. So I always just huh? Excuse me? <laughs> I always just get it with like a fork. Yeah. What is that mixed with juice? Passion fruit and spicy tequila. And then I just got um John uh uh Cheers. Cheers. What are we cheering to? Resurrecting our love. Hey guys, so it's the next day. Um, uh, we're on our way to get some pokey. It's like a pokey bowl. I'm trying to eat more healthier now. Like I'm trying to fast more. Like this is like I heard that if you eat like I heard there's three ways to grow stem cells back. I know a lot of you guys would be like, "Bitch, we don't care." But it, I don't know. I'm really into this stuff. Like fasting makes you younger, 
And I didn't know that. Like, look it up. And that's all that someone needed to say to me. I didn't even know that. But fasting makes you long, li- makes you look younger. And there's three ways to grow back stem cells, which one of them is having, like, a big breakfast, a big lunch, and then fasting the rest of the day until the next day. So that's what I'm, like, trying to do because I just feel like I recently fasted um, for two days and honestly like i felt really good fasting i felt more centered this is day seven of me not smoking marijuana so that's a huge deal because i used to smoke like i smoked three blunts a day not three blunts a day but i smoked three times a day like breakfast lunch dinner so the fact that this is the seventh day and i haven't smoked at all and honestly by by the time it was the third day i didn't even think about weed at all like Yesterday, I'm not gonna lie, when I was like buzzed, I don't know why when I'm like buzzed, I want to smoke. Just like, I don't know. So, yesterday when I was out drinking, I'm like, oh, I want a blunt right now. Like, a fat fucking blunt would be nice right now. But then I thought about it. I think that's why I've been crying a lot because smoking marijuana, I was suppressing a lot of things. Like, when I was sad, I used to just turn to marijuana. And I'm only trying it for like a month. Um, I just kind of like for an experiment. And I also think it's just bad to depend on something. Um, and I've just, and I don't know, like, I, want, I, I shouldn't be smoking it all the time every day because, it, again, it suppresses how I feel and it's like I'm numbing myself. Sorry, guys, so um, I didn't finish what I was talking about earlier in the car. But, like, I've been watching, I've been following this girl. Um, she's, like, this older lady and, I don't know, I've been trying to change, like, a lot of things lately. And, like, she said three things that grow your stem cells back is one of them, fasting, having a big breakfast and um, a lunch and then fasting the rest of the day till the next day and then taking cold showers and then running in the sunlight so she said those three things like help grow back stem cells so that's why I've been trying to I don't know I kind of I just want to fast more and so that's what I'm trying to do anyway so that's what I've been trying to do more of I don't know why lately I've been trying I've been like paying attention more to like like my health and like being more centered and things like that um, and yeah so I just want to throw that out there for anyone who is like interested into that I'll try to find her Instagram I'm gonna link it down below because I feel like I'm learning a lot from from her Instagram page. Um, anyways, right now we're getting something to eat. I got some a poke bowl. Alejandro got. What did you get? Did you get the Peruvian ceviche? What did you get? Garlic shrimp. I didn't know that. So Alejandro got garlic shrimp. But yeah, today is just gonna be a chill day. I'm most likely just gonna edit this video and get this up to you guys so you guys can see. You guys are loving the vlog, so I'm trying to vlog more. But yeah, that's what's going on so far. I got the poke bowl with ahi tuna and some edamame and some salmon. And I've been like so into ginger lately. Alejandro looks pretty good. He got some garlic shrimp. It looks really good.